It was a fling. Right, it meant nothing. Stop lying. You're embarrassing yourself. She just saw us, admit it. I'm going to leave. So, carry on as you were. Don't move. This is your way out, Robert. Just take it. I don't want a way out. I want to marry Chrissy. You know what, fine. You say anything to anyone? Yeah, and what? I won't waste my time. This is your last chance, okay? I'm leaving. I'm going anywhere. Something's happened. Oh, she told Chrissy that. You have to come back. No, I'm not lying for you. Huh? Please, I need you. It's, it's really bad. Please come back. <laughs> Wedding date. Why are you even still here? She fell. We were talking. We sorted everything out. The floor just collapsed. So then why have you phoned me? She needs an ambulance. It's too late for an ambulance. <sighs> I mean, the place has been derelict for years. I knew the floors needed work, but I didn't think... She should never have come here. She should never have come here! What happened when I went? We talked. I told her everything. She, she said she was going to keep quiet. She even deleted the photo. She stood right next to me. The floor just gave way. I tried to grab her, but it all happened too quick. Right, uh, we need to phone Andy. Well, you have to tell him. And the police. We need to phone the police. OK. OK. Wait, 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 I think I did something. Why would they? I'm not supposed to be here, Aaron. I'm supposed to be getting married. That's gonna look bad, right? We'll, we'll, we'll tell them the truth. I don't think they're gonna believe the truth, Aaron. She caught us together. She was threatening to tell Chrissy, and now she's dead. Me and her haven't been getting on for weeks. She told people I torched the caravan. Why would she do that? Because she hated me. I'm going to prison. No, you're not. I'm going to prison if Andy doesn't kill me first. Look, they'll, they'll do tests or whatever. They'll see that the floor was wrecked. Well, you could say you saw it. You could say you're a witness. What, no? No, no, I don't think it was both of us. It's Vic. She's been ringing me non-stop. What should I do? You should phone the police. Oh, well, we, we could just go. What, and leave her here? Well, if there's no one here, there'll be no questions. They'll, they'll work out it was an accident. You need to phone Andy and tell him his wife's dead. What, and go to prison? Just because you wanted to out me? Because you were selfish and jealous and you, you couldn't stand to see me get married? I never knew this would happen. You brought her here. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, if you're sorry, you'll help me. She didn't deserve this. She fell. Nothing we can do now changes that. Yeah, but it's not that easy, is it? It stays with you up here. When Jackson died... Look, that was I... different. 
and you got through it. Yeah, because I told the truth. Because I didn't leave him lying there like he doesn't matter. Of course she matters. That's not what this is about. <sighs> She's my mum's best mate. She's your sister-in-law. I don't think that's going to matter when the police get involved. Will you start thinking about yourself for one second? Hey, it's not just me who could go to prison here, Aaron. Yeah, well, thanks for bringing me back to that. Right, I panicked. OK, I'm sorry. Anyway, it's like you said, it, it was an accident. We didn't do anything wrong. You think they'll listen to that? What's it going to do to your mum? To us? You go. I'll get married. No, I'm not leaving you here. I'll just go. I'll sort this place out. There'll be footprints and fingerprints. We need to make sure there's no sign of us being here. And don't worry, I, I won't change my mind. Look, you swear you won't say a word. I'm getting used to secrets. No, I mean it, Aaron. To love and to cherish till death. Till death us do part. Uh, excuse me, everybody. Uh, thanks. Uh, I'll keep it brief, but as best man, I wanted to say a few words. Well, there's no point in pretending me and Robert always got on when we were growing up. But that's what makes today being part of all this with him and Chrissy, really special. We're both married to beautiful, incredible women. Yes, you are, and don't you ever forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Katie has. Huh? Uh, but it's time to leave the past to where it belongs. I'm lucky. For once in his life, he's made a good decision. And I'm looking forward to having another sister. See if she's better than the one I've already got. <laughs> but what really matters is family. And I've not just gained a sister today, but I've got my brother back. So here's to a start of a great future, the Brian and Groom. Yeah. Brian and Groom. <laughs> Did you get sorted, yeah? Been drinking? No, not that much. Hey, make sure you don't drink all the beer while I've gone. Terrible's happened. She's been killed in an accident. No, that's terrible. It's all just so unfair. Yeah, I know you're right, it is. Aaron, I'll stay. Uh, I was just heading out, actually. Zach said to tell Debbie and the kids are just. Oh, oh God, he's right. Oh, Sarah's going to be devastated. But do something about your face, love, because you look worse than I feel. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, no, man, I've been a cow again. You're just messing your mate, that's all. <laughs> she died all on her own. <laughs> 